Hi everyone and welcome to Quick Take Review. Today we are reviewing Coast Group Limited. Now before we go on, to those who are new to this channel, The Naive Investor is a YouTube channel that focuses on anything that relates to investing and trading. Currently we have two series. The first is Quick Take where we try to analyze the financial of a company in less than 10 minutes. The other is Early Bird where we look at the news, analyze how it will affect the markets. If this sounds interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. So on Wednesday 17th February 2020, Coase has its half yearly results presentation. In the presentation, the company discusses its result up to the end of last year and strategies moving forward. Overall, the company's revenue and net profit are up by 8.1% and 14.5% respectively. This is definitely good news, but then why has its share price fallen by almost 10%? Let's analyze. The company's operation can be divided into three broad segments, supermarkets, Coase Express and liquor. From the results, Coles Supermarket segment is actually lagging behind its segment-specific expectations. The overall outperformance was due to the non-food divisions, Coles Express and Liquor. There are a few possible explanations for this. Firstly, brokers like Goldman Sachs thinks Coles is losing market shares to its rivals. They include Woolworths and Medcash. Now, one way to find out is to analyze the competitors' half-yearly results. If either or both Woolworths and Medcash supermarket division grew by the same period, then this could possibly mean Coles is in fact losing market shares. Secondly, due to the pantry stocking that happened in March 2020, the company is experiencing pantry destocking, where customers are using up their stockpiles first before going out to buy more. Adding to this destocking effect is the fact that COVID situation in Australia is normalizing. This means consumers will feel less need to stockpile and buy on an as-needed basis. As such, sales momentum could have decreased and may continue to do so. Thirdly, with travel restrictions in place, immigration and overseas visits are limited. As such, there are less consumers than normal. Again, this adds to the lower sales momentum and the lower turnover volume. In order for us to be sure of these effects, we would need to cross-check the half-yearly reports of Woolworths and Medcash. If they see a similar decline, then this could suggest that the cause is the lower number of consumers in Australia. However, if we see the results of Woolworths and Medcash goes up, then it's even more suggestive that Coles is losing its supermarket market share. But what does this all mean? Why does a lower supermarket market share matter when net profit increases? Well, Coles is classified as a consumer consumer staples business. It sells food and everyone needs to eat in good time or bad time. Sure, they may not buy as much or they may opt for cheaper brands instead of more expensive brands. But one thing is for sure, people will still buy food even if the ASX drops by 50%. This means Coles, Woolworths, Metcash can be seen as safer companies than those in other sectors. But if Coles keeps losing its supermarket market shares, it will slowly become less safe. But the recent drops in share price would increase the dividend Yield. Currently, it is sitting at 3.6%, which is not too shabby if you ask me. Plus, it is 100% franking. So, this is a very attractive opportunity. Also, the lower share price and increased earning will lower its PE ratio. At the moment, it is 22, which is a lovely number to see. Beside this, the COVID vaccines being distributed worldwide. Travel restriction will be lifted sooner or later. This hopefully will increase travels and immigration to Australia. Again, with more people staying in Australia, more people will need to buy food to eat. Of course, the risk are that a new COVID mutation occurs, making the vaccine less or even ineffective. This would undoubtedly prolong travel restrictions. Or maybe Coles will lose too much supermarket market shares to its competitors by the time the travel restrictions end. Personally, I think Coles will come out of this all right and the recent dip presents an attractive opportunity to buy. I honestly do not see Coles going out of business anytime soon, although the lower market share is cause of concern. In saying so, as a consumer, I prefer Coles to Woolworth and I barely use Metcash's supermarket brand. So in this case, I will account for this positive first-hand consumer experience in my analysis of the company as a vote of confidence. And that is pretty much it for today's quick take review episode. If you like what you see, please share, like, and subscribe to support what we do here at The Naive Investor. Feel free to share your thoughts about this company in the comment section below and check out our other videos. Until next time, stay safe and keep looking for opportunities.